so here is the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. Nice shot there by the champ. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, look out, folks, that is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, Bale's on the submission now. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. That was nice. Oh, it looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. Too easy for the Ibrahimov to off against the early takedown. Opposition knew it was coming, and it will stop it as usual. Well, he'll tell you. He'll tell you that he's going to take you down. And he has so many ways of getting to that takedown. He's as good as they come in terms of setting him up. And right away, he gets to fight exactly where he needs it to be. Nurmagomedov gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Over and over. Same story. Punch after punch to the head. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. Khabib's back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. He's getting them out here. Oh, he's trying to pin that arm in the triangle now. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. Oh, and now he gives up on the submission. Well, how about the movement off of the back? Nice job to avoid the ground and pound here by Garbrandt. Nice transition. Just over two minutes, round one. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Just misses with the jab there. Kalatai here in the clinch. Good body shot. He lands another one. He's keeping the staff guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, take down the tip after take down the tip, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. Another takedown lane. All right, late round action here. Khabib Nurmagomedov continuing to dominate the action. Beautiful transitions, and I'm not oh, in good position to rip off the Kimura here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. 
these guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is starting off the mat. Oh, looked like that strike from the bottom fighter got the crowd's attention. All right, has the guard closed here? Garbrandt gets back up again. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Well, you gotta like the way he has started this fight tonight. He has come out aggressively, connecting on a lot of shots here in this first round. No doubt a crowd-pleasing approach from him here tonight. Take down attempt late, and it's good. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Oh. Round two is next. Oh. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling himself. And look at his coaches. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. All right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC, and there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment, he found the opening, and landed that big strike. You ready to fight? Ready. Check him out on the road. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice job defensively. He blocked that punch. So Khabib Nurmagomedov out his methodical best tonight and gets another takedown right there. Khabib is one of those guys that will tell you what he's gonna do, and he will go and he will do it. And right now, that's being shown to be true. Because time and time again, he is securing takedowns on his opponent. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Here's the kick blocked by Cody Garbrandt. All right, single collar tie now. Well, let's take a look at the numbers. He is landing at a very high percentage here tonight. Takedown defense holds up. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, there it is. Another strike targeting that damaged area on the body. Is this a game plan thing or perhaps trying to set something up high later? Well, I think, it's, I think it's all, it all works together. You get the hands to start to drop, and then when those hands drop, you go over the top with that head kick. But beating up the body sets up the attacks up top, and that is exactly what this guy's doing. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and land some big knees from the close. Great commitment to the kicking game. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. All right, again, he shoots for a takedown here and unable to get it, so the takedown defense reigns supreme yet again. The takedown defense is holding up, John. He's doing a great job of keeping his feet going backwards, sprawling, dropping his hips, and anticipating the shots coming. Very well done. Big shot lands for both guys. All right, just like we saw in the previous round, the takedown is there at will. He actually wanted a side wager if you had over 10 takedowns tonight. You wouldn't take the bait, and perhaps it's a good thing. Yeah, it's such a high number. So while it seems tempting, you got to turn away from it. Hey, a bet's only a bet because they know they also have the ability to win. Sorry. This guy knew that he would be able to secure takedowns and takedowns in bunches, and that is exactly what he's showing us tonight. Nermago Medoff's going for the sub here. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Great job maintaining position there. You never want to lose positions to chase a submission. 
Oh, he's got his knee on the belly, raining down punches here. Different round and the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Cater. Every strike he has thrown seemingly is finding the target. I mean, it's, it's landing. Everything is landing, J.A. And coming into this fight, he understood that he had an advantage in this particular skill. I don't know if he could have even expected it to be this vast as we have seen to this point in the fight. Short uppercut here in the clinch by Garber. All right, what do you think? Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well, it's been there tonight. When you're that successful with any one thing, why would you change it? He's going to shoot for another take. Great timing on that double leg. Big right hook there by the champ. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nermago Meta. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking fight. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Clinch position now. Oh, there it is, DC doing his best Tony Romo impression. You saw that one coming. I mean, sometimes you can just guess, and it works. That's one of those times. I wish I was smart as Tony. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Pretty nice lead right there by Cody Garbrandt. That was a good. Nice strike. Oh, and now a beautiful shot. Let's see if he can capitalize from here. I mean, that was a beautiful way that he took the underhook, stepped all the way across, and hit that hip toss. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Standing over his opponent here. Oh, now he's attacking an try. Oh, he's got the submission locked in now. So the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fight. Oh, hammer fist here by Nermago Medov. High level guard pass there as he moves into half guard. You know the guy's going to his left on the pass, but you cannot stop him. He is tremendous at passing the guard. Oh, that jab alerted his opponent. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Oh, another takedown secured by Nermago Meta. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Gets to the single collar tie. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Oh, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. Missed on the right hand. All right, we told you off the top that he had a reach advantage, and he really is using it. Nice punch there. Oh, nice. Nice. Garbrandt shot is blocked. 
That was a nice transition. That was right off the strike into the takedown, and it looked effortless. It did not look like he had to work hard to finish this takedown at all. Oh, looks like that submission's almost locked in. It's starting to get pretty deep here. Oh, man, that was slick. Back to his feet. He's got that single collar tie locked in. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Oh! Another big thing down. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Oh, nice. Oh, right into Mount. He's got to start throwing now. Locks up the triangle now, DC. This could very well be the beginning of the end. Oh, it looks like the end of the fight. It looks like this one is about done. This guy is a triangle expert. He got it set up. He jumped on it so quick. And now he's just going from step to step, trying to get the finish. It's about to be over. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it there. And he's attempting it over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that this is going to be a stand-up fight? Ooh, what a punch. Could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. He I mean, didn't hit with a shot like that. You don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. He's up. What submission defense on this play? Garbrandt gets back up. Best punch in the game, beautiful jab. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Puppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Final 30 seconds of this third round. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Nurmagomedov's in half court. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Good exchange there inside. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that right. round. It's like we're watching right. the NCAA wrestling Good. tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change up his fight into his opponent and secure takedown after takedown. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Cody Garbrandt. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the setup, too, that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's throwing the left hook and almost pulling himself into his shot. Punch goes as the opponent's hands go up. He 
drives himself into the dive to try and secure a takedown. Truly, truly high-level striking fits with unbelievable wrestling. Garbrandt's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Nice pass. All right, so he's setting up for a submission here. Ooh, that looks pretty tight. Oh, he's out. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded. He's so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. Lucky guy. I have. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Garbrandt grounded pound from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. All of that body weight on his opponent. He's got all the weight on the upper body. His feet are free to do whatever. But the arm stuck between the legs. He's now going to start dropping hammer fists. He's going to start dropping elbows. This is one of the nastiest positions in all of fighting. Oh, slip reversal right there. Well, his grappling has been on. He's going for the rear naked choke now. Oh, that rear naked choke attempt is tight. Oh, he's out. It's work. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. It's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how, how skilled both of these men are. Nermago Maddox in half guard now. And there you go, again, half guard. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Garbrandt's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Well, any time you are in... Oh, looks like he's trying to isolate and maybe set up a Kimura here, DC. He's attacking the Kimura. Watch for him to step over to try to get him up on his hip. Oh, he's out of danger! Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Garbrandt's eye is closing up. to the single collar time. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. All right, half guard now. Khabib's going for a choke here. Oh, that bomb flu choke is tight. Oh, how on God's green oak did he get out? Entertaining scrap so far. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, fifth and final round. 
All right, next round is underway. Perhaps it'll be more of the same, his precision striking on full display in the previous round. He did a great job of just finding the strikes that matter. He didn't waste anything in that opening round. He threw jab, he threw right hand, he threw hook, and he threw all at the exact time that they were supposed to be thrown. The judo throw. Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up a sub. You gotta try to find whether or not you're gonna land ground and pound here or if you're gonna go to a submission. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Nurmagomedov's able to transition back to side control now. Great job landing from the top position. Oh, he lands it. Oh, he's going triangle here. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle in deep. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Oh, beautiful shot there with the hook. I'm not sure his opponent saw that one come. His opponent is thinking straight punch. He's hooking right around the guard to land and land a fish. All right, so he lands another takedown here, and he just continues to get his opponent to the ground. His opponent's done a pretty good job getting back to his feet, but can't stop the shot. It'll finally start to exhaust him if he constantly goes up and down, up and down. He's got to split those legs and defend those takedowns before his opponent gets started. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Punishing kick there. Another big kick. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Ooh, right into side control. Now he's able to isolate that left arm. Look for him to step over the top. You gotta be kidding me, how did he get out? He just stayed calm, was able to withstand the fire. Now he finds himself out and safe. Nurmanko Menov's back in side control. Oh, good ground and pound here. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Huge elbow lands from the plate. Under two minutes now to decide this one. Pretty strong jab there by Nermago Meta. Cardio looks great. He's still bouncing, he's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here so he can engage and really spring in there with a couple big strikes. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around to block his face, and he's dropped his level, shooting his shot. And ultimately, because he's such a great submission guy, no matter how the fight gets to the floor, he just needs to get it there. There it is, now he's going to mount. Oh, what do we got here? Looks like an arm triangle attempt. Ooh, this could be it, that thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. That's tight. Oh, oh he got out. He actually bridged, got his hips up in the air, used his momentum to take him back towards his opponent's feet, chest down to the mat to get out of that deep submission attempt. Marco Medov's back in full mount. Nicely done. All right, feet on the hips here. Working out of the half guard here. Wow, so somehow, some way in this final round, back to the feet. It's like he played a lot of it, John. He got to his feet now, does his numbers hit. He has got to hit every button to try to get a finish. All right, he closes the distance, gets the 
single collar tie. Nurmago Medov. Oh, what a finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. The Ladies official decision is in. It After resides five with Bruce Bounds. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Nemago Meta. All right, so judges' scorecards needed not often the case when Khabib Nurmagomedov competes, but he gets it done by decision and keeps that O in the line.